Hey there, this is Akshit Madan and welcome back to the part 5 of creating a tech news application in Flutter. And this project is specially made for beginners. So in the last part, we had seen how we are creating this uh, future builder and inside this future builder, I'm returning a list view dot builder. And we had, we had also seen this utils uh, text then keys in the previous part. So if you have not watched the previous parts, please watch them and then you can access this part, right? So in the last part, I told that I'll be teaching you about this news box. That is this simple container that is containing a simple image and the news article and the date time that I'm getting from the API. So now let's go to this news box. So first of all, if I just go to this news box, you can see that this extends a stateless widget, which asks for an image URL. As you can show, as you can see that this is the image. It asks for an image URL. It asks for a title. That means this. Uh, bigger title then it asks for a time you can see the time is over here then it is also asking for the description right so description is not visible on this tile but whenever you will clicking on this news article you will be able to see the description over here right the description is very small for this news let's go to this yes you can see the description so i'm asking for the description because i want to uh, create a bottom sheet whenever i want to click on this news article uh, news tile right so that's why I have to provide all these parameters. They're required. That's why I have to provide all these parameters. So let's go to home.dart and let's see how I'm uh, providing it. So first of all, in the news box, I'm providing URL. So whatever data, snapshot the data at index at URL, I'm going to provide it to the URL. In the same way, if now the next thing is image URL, that means this image URL and this URL is not the image URL. This is for this read full article. I want to uh, navigate the user from my app to other a browser if the user clicks on this uh, read full article that's why this is that url right now this image url is for this image and this image if it is null that means i saw that the api is providing null values also for this uh, value image url so if it is null then i'm going to provide constants dot image url as you can see over here this image is not provided by api same as this image so if the image is null then i'm going to provide this image url which is present in constants dot dart you can see this network image I'm going to provide to my news box. Perfect. But if it is not null, if it is has the if it is having the value, then I'm going to provide snapshot data at index at URL to image. The same way title, time, and description. So now let's go to news box and let's see how I'm designing it. Then I'm defining a column. So this column takes a inkwell and a divider widget. So divider widget is nothing but this divider line, right? Perfect. So in this inkwell, there is an on tap function which shows the model bottom sheet. So this model bottom sheet, we will be seeing it soon, but let's see the design of this first. So in this, I have a child container, which takes padding, which takes margin. Then it has a color, color sort black. Perfect. Now it has row. Why row? Because you can see that this image and this part, text part is in a row. So that's why there is a row, there is a row. And in this row, there is a cache network image. So why I'm defining the cache network image because I don't want to load these image. If I just go down and if I just go again, uh, come to the upside, then you can see that these images are not getting loaded again and again. They will be saved in the cache memory. That's why I've defined cache network image. So image URL will be image URL, which is getting, which it is getting from here, from the home dot dot, then item builder, image provider, and then I have a container. Now in this container, I'm defining height with 60, 60, and then a border radius. You can see the border radius is a uh, 10. So it is a little circular, then box fit dot cover. Perfect. Color I'm defining colors dot yellow. Uh, you can just skip this color also. So in the placeholder, you have to define a uh, circular progress indicator. You can see that if I just go down, uh, all the images which are not yet loaded, they will be shown with a circular progress indicator. Right, so that's why I've defined a placeholder as circular progress indicator. Color will be primary. Error widget. If uh, if a, if an image has some error of if or if a URL is not found, then I'm going to show this icon of error. Perfect. Then rest of the space of this row will be given to the expanded widget. You can see I have given expanded, and in this expanded I have a column. Why a column? Because there is a text for title and there is a text for date. You can see there is a column, and inside this column there is two modified text. First one is uh, uh, first one is for the uh, title and second one is for the time. Perfect. Why there is a modified text? I've already covered this in my first or second part. This modified text is a modified text that shows you the text in Lato font for Google fonts, right? Perfect. 
okay let's go to news box again and we have covered everything now only one thing is left now why i'm defining this divider widget because i want to separate all my list tiles so in this divider widget i have a simple divider which is wrapped with a container because i want to provide padding from left and right as you can see and it is of lightweight color perfect now only one thing is left in our app that we will be covering in the next part that is this bottom sheet so whenever i'm going to click on it i'm going to see the bottom sheet so i hope you like this video till the next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot